And now, a game of high stakes, where every decision is a gamble, and every move can be your last. Let's get another edition of High Rollers, ladies and gentlemen. We're glad to have you here again. And I know Brandon's glad to be back here again because he had a terrific performance last time, taking home just over $58,000. Brandon, you feeling like good to be back? I, it feels so good to be back again. All right. Well, glad to hear it. And uh, your opponent uh, for today is also making his uh, season debut with us on High Rollers. It's Cameron Shields, all the way from the Great Land Down Under. How are you, sir? Good day, mates. All right, well, we're glad. Well, we're definitely glad to have you here. And actually, you sorry, was that the sound? Of, was that the sound of uh, idiocy that I heard? <laughs> yes, it is. Anyways, it's <laughs> anyways Cameron, um, it has been a long time since you've been on any of uh, our series here at the channel, so this is definitely a treat to have you with us again. Good to be seen. All right. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with our first round. Let's take a look at the prizes for call number one. Uh, we have a billiard table, and we're going to add an HD TV to that, worth $3,800. And in call number two, we still have uh, all those prizes with call total of $20,308. And in call number three, you've got the smartphone plus your service, a barbecue, the trip to Hawaii, a jet ski, and now a sofa. Total value, $59,636. Uh, the board value says $65,901, but it's actually more than that. It is a little over $86,000, I believe. Anyways, here come the numbers. <laughs> and we do not... Actually, yes, we do. The call with the glitched value. All right. So, Brandon, you're in the player one position this time, so you'll be buzzed in with Z, okay. and Cameron, you'll be buzzed in with M. And since the Disney tree has seemed to be popular last time, we're going to go at it again with that for this episode. Hey! All right, here's your first question. Where does Mike Wazowski take his girlfriend Celia for her birthday dinner in Monsters, Inc.? Brandon. I believe it. I'm trying to pronounce it. Um, Harry, so something like that. No, the Disney master gets one wrong. That is a rare sight to see. Or the, it is Harryhausen's. That's what I was trying to say, yeah. Yeah, well, I heard you say something else. So, yeah, I, was, I, I, I knew it was with an H, you know. Yeah, well, in any case, uh, Brandon, we did unfortunately have to rule you incorrect. Brandon, okay. uh, Cameron, rather, uh, go ahead and roll. Let's uh, roll it. <laughs> And right off the bat, Cameron, you have a double. Okay. Um. All right. Let's uh. Let's go. Let's go seven and three. All right. Seven and three it is. All right. What does Hakuna Matata mean, Brandon? It means no worries for the rest of your days. Roll those dice. No, no more. Hey, Chris, at least I'm not singing yet. Brandon, you have a five. I'll take the five by itself, please. All right, all numbers are still good, and on we go. What is the name of the castle in Shanghai Disneyland Park? Time. The Enchanted Storybook Castle is what it's called. Ah. All right. There are seven dwarves in Snow White. I need you to name three of them. Brandon. Bumpy, Doc, and Sleepy. Yes. Very good. R go ahead and roll. Now, yeah, please. And that's a four. There's only one way you can do that. Roll by itself, please. And four to five are bad numbers. The sorcerer's name in Fantasia spells what backwards? T 
time. It spells Disney. Ah! How many fingers does Mickey Mouse have? Cameron. Three. He has four, actually. Okay. Oh! Yeah, because remember, thumbs count as fingers. Brandon, roll or pass? Oh, well, please. Oh, please. Three, and there's only one way you can do that. One and two. All right, six, eight, and nine are good numbers. 5,000 years, 10,000 years, 15,000 years. The genie was stuck in the lamp for how long before Aladdin found him branded? 10,000 years! We'll give you such a crick in the neck. Roll or pass? I'll pass to Cameron, please. All right. Okay. No, Mark. All right, let's, uh, let's do it. Let's roll. Uh, it's an 11, but you have a marker, so let's uh, try it again, shall we? Let's try it again. Five, no good. Brandon has won the first three And Brandon, that is another $1,000 for you. And uh, on we go to game number two. We still have the billiard table the TV call number one. And now we have a trip to Egypt worth over $25,000. Ooh. And call number three, I believe, is still full. Yes, it is. So, uh, let's Big money see. game. Uh, let's see. That is going to be over $110,000, give or take, that's on the board for this one. And it's column number three for the hot column this time. All right. All right, what was the name of Walt Disney's first cartoon character? Cameron? Mickey Mouse. It was actually Oswald. Oh, sorry, sorry, I, think it was, I remember saying it was Oswald, I think it was. <clears throat> yeah, Oswald the Rabbit. All right, go ahead and roll, Brandon. Now, please. Ten. I'll take the one and nine, please. All right, the one and nine. All right. Who is Mufasa's trusted advisor, the Lion King? Cameron? Gotta be Zazu. That is a correct answer. Go ahead and roll. All right, let's roll it. All right, you have a nine. Let us go four and five. Okay, four and five it is. So now the four is the only bad number. Christian Bale is the voice behind which character in the film Pocahontas? Tom. Yeah. The voice of Thomas. Oh. Mm. All right. Who is the fashion designer in The Incredibles? Cameron? Edna Maud. That would be correct. I Roll or pass. Uh, uh, what's what's the uh, uh is it what's the what are the bad numbers at the moment? It's just only one four. bad oh, number. Yes, four. Four is the only bad number. I'll roll. All right. Six, and that's gonna give you column number two. Yeah, let's go column number two. Yep. Cool. AKA the glitch call, but if you win this game, I'll put down the actual correct total for that for you. All right. Yeah. Four and six are the bad numbers now. All right, Angelina Jolie brought what Disney villain to life? Cameron? Maleficent. Correct. All right, four and six are the bad numbers now. All right, I still like my odds. I'll uh, roll it. All right. Anything, anything, before, and an six, eight. anything before and six? Eight. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yep, yeah, uh, remove the eight. All right, which is the only way you can do it there, I believe. All right, so now we have four, six, eight, and 11 as the bad numbers. Which Disney princess attended Elsa's coronation day in Arendelle? Brandon. That was Anna. No, that was Rapunzel, believe it or not. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. All right, Cameron, uh, roll or pass. Let's, uh, let's roll it. Let's roll it. All right. No! Eight is a bad number. Wow. Alright, 
so Brandon just two thousand dollars in cash but at least uh, it's enough for you to stay as champion well Cameron did you have a good time with us yeah, it was a time and uh, good okay. game all right well we hope to uh, have you back uh, again for a future episode down the line Brandon let's get to the big numbers <laughs> Brandon, you know the drill here. Uh, get all of my numbers knocked off, you get a hundred thousand dollars. Let's do it. Yep. Now, please. Three. Uh, I'll do the three by itself, please. Very well. And uh, one other thing, Brandon, that I should tell you about is that your two-day total, as of right now, going to this bonus round, is sixty thousand four hundred and one dollars. Oh, okay. So Thanks for letting me know. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and roll again. I agree. Let's roll now, please. Twelve! Okay, and that's a double, so you get an insurance marker for that. Mm-hmm. Let's see... So many ways I could do this. Um... I'll do the... Six four two. All right, the six to forty two. All right. So you have three four and eleven as your bad numbers, and one insurance marker at your disposal. Go get it. Okay, now please. Eight. I'll do the one and seven, please. All right. So now you have the five, eight, and nine left. Okay, pretty much common rolls. Now please. Well, there's the nine. Nine by itself. Yep. Now the five and the eight left. Now please. Another shirt. Well, another twelve. You can't use it this time. That helps. That helps. Now please. Nine, which you can't use, but you have you one more shot at least. Let's see, you get a five or an eight. Now please. Well, there's the eight. eight now you eight. just need the five. Okay, I can do this. Come on, five. Come on, five. No. Brandon, in most cases, seven's a lucky number. That is not the case here, however. That's okay. But you pick up another $8,000. You did better there, though. I sure did. All right, so Brandon, your new total for two days is $68,400. Well, let's just say our new champion's feeling uh, very comfortable right now, aren't you? I sure am. All right, well, you've got over $68,000. And uh, you're going to meet a new opponent next time on High Rollers. So long, everyone. Bye, everybody.